Hi everyone, this is Rana. Welcome to our first Magingo Designs show and tell video. We are so excited to start showing and telling you about our clear stamps from January 2022 release. In today's video, we will show and tell about you are perfect stamp set. So let's go ahead and check it out. We have in this stamp set this cute setting cat, another one who is looking to his side, a happily playing cat, a lying down cat, a mouse, two different types of the wool balls, we have also this cute tiny fly, a fish skeleton, a basket, a trash can with its cover. We have these wavy lines to show the smell effect, a cat's paw print. This stamp set includes also a few perfect sentiments. We have meow, you are perfect, you make me happy, I will always be here for you. Now let's start adding some colors to our stamps. The markers that I am using today are Ohuhu Alcohol Brush Markers. For the first cat, I am using BR2, BR5, YR2, YR3, YR070, YR110. I always like to apply the dark shade at first around my image, then continue with the light shades and then blending them together to get a good color gradient. We will go back later to color the ears and here I am using 120 to color the nose. Now let's color the next one. I am using here YR2, YR1, E220, E280 markers. I am also here applying the dark shade at first which is YR2 then continue with the light shades and the blending all together. I'm adding here a few dark lines to the head and the body and the tail. For the next cut, I'm using some brown shades and they are BR1, BR2, BR3, YR4, YR030. This one will be perfect to combine with the wool balls, to play with them and to make the cat like she lifts them up and also will be so cute with a basket. Here I am adding also some dark lines using BR1 like I did in the previous cat. Now let's color this one with some grey markers and for that I am using CG07 CG04, CG050, CG00. Look to this one, how cute will be to combine with the mouse. This one is my favorite. Now let's go back to color the ears, the noses and add some cute cheeks to all cats. I'm using for that R9, R120, R110. To color the mouse, I'm using my favorite gray combination and it is CG07, CG04, CG050. And I'm also using for the trash can the same combination adding also some CG00 to get more light areas. For the fish skeleton, I'm just adding a very light shade using WG01, WG050. 
I always find that BR1 with BR2 and BR3 is the perfect brown shades to get the perfect wood color. You will see me using it a lot. To color the towel, I choose to use P1, RP1, R10, and to color the wall balls, I used Y2, Y3 and adding some YR1, and for the other one, PB6, PB8, PB7 to color it with a nice blue color. Now let me tell you a little bit about our cheat sheet. The cheat sheet is something that you can cheat from it to inspire you whenever you don't have any idea what to create with a specific product. Each product will have a cheat sheet and you can find it under the products listing in the shop. So feel free to use it to create your cards. For today's card, I will get my inspiration from this card here. Our card will be in the night. I cut the cross pieces with my silver portrait machine, but you can of course use any cross die cut to cut them. And also cut a simple circle to use it like a mask and ink around it to create the moon in the background. The inks that I'm using here are tumbled glass, salty ocean, chipped sapphire, and black soot distress oxide inks. Going back and forth between the inks and blend them to get a soft blend on the background. Here I am splattering the background with white watercolor using a small paint brush to create a few stars in the sky. And because of our card is in the night, so let's make our grass also a little bit darker. And for that, I am inking it with pine needles and the black salt distress oxide inks. Now let's go back to the background and peel off the mask of our moon. And here it is, a very clean blending. To speed the drying process, I'm using the heat tool so I can continue working on the background. To add more structure to the moon, I'm using WG050 and WG01 and blend them using a colorless blending marker. To make the moon to pop up on the background, I am applying just on one side CG050 and blend it with CG020. Time to put our card together. I am using double sided adhesive to attach the first layer of the grass and some foam tape to attach the second layer. I always like to create cars with many details and layers. And to give my cars a little bit more thickness, I like to attach the background on an extra matching colored cardstock using foam tape. Like I'm doing here, I'm attaching the background on Konix Blau Folia cardstock. Now let's add our cute stamps to our card. I'm using for that some foam squares and liquid adhesive. Adding the trash can and this cat, which is so cute. And of course, a few of fish skeleton. And also the trash can cover, we will attach it like this beside the trash can. I'm using here Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp these wavy lines to show the smell of the trash and also to stamp three of our cute flies. Our sentiment for today is you are perfect and I'm embossing it on some black cardstock using Versamark ink and some white embossing powder. To cut the sentiment, I am using Evco paper cutter 
and creating a simple banner using my scissor just like this. Then I'm attaching the banner on my card using some small foam squares. It's time to finish our card and attaching everything on white card base using double sided adhesive. Here is our card for today featuring You Are Perfect stamp set. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice and wonderful crafting day. Bye, until the next video.